Major Slack videos. Yeah, <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> Shut up, Pee Wee. Okay. But yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Borderlands 2 Ultimate Vault Hunter mode. And we're playing with no legendaries, no legendaries and no DLC weapons. Watch part one to be updated on what's going on here. This is my Gluttonous Thresher speedrun. Right now, I have the firepower to take down the Gluttonous Thresher. So there's no point in doing anything else in between because um, the more you level up, the harder it gets. This way Ultimate Vault Hunter mode works. It always stays... Um, for most of the bosses, two levels ahead of you. So right now, the Gluttonous Thresher is going to be spawning at level 56. Following Jack's orders from the beginning. And Jack I'm going to have to talk over Angel's commentary here. I'm going to turn the sound way down. Humble apologies. Through the fridge, as soon as we see any rats, out goes Deception and stick to the left here. Rats are a nightmare for a power sniper, so this is this is a good idea to speed run right through the fridge here. Hunker down here, wait in this corner for deception to regenerate, and I put on some special gear to bring down my cooldown rate to 10 seconds. That's the Swift Spy class mod and that relic that you saw me put on earlier. Throw out more deception here. Down here, instead of going straight down the hill, we're going to go out onto the ice. It's a lot safer, even though crystalisks are going to spawn here. It's a lot safer because they're just spawning now. So they can't really attack you while they're spawning. They're they're too busy spawning. So it goes straight down the ice. Hang left here, go up the ramp. As soon as that door opens, spawn deception and go over and hit the valve. Opens the door. Go through, stick to the left just, just in case they take some pot shots at you, which they will. Hit the lever, hunker down, and we're home free. I just did two runs trying to do live commentary to this and it was driving me crazy with Angel blathering away. I, could, I just blew blew everything. Okay, in here, um, we have to wait till the, the game objective updates. So we have to go to the fast travel station. And I'm awesome. Hey killer, I phased the city, no big deal. And I'm at, I'm like halfway through level 54 because I was farming Bad Maw. I'll explain that later. Yeah, I was farming Bad Maw for some blues and greens, which I desperately need in this run. You may be thinking, oh, blues and greens? Are you kidding? <laughs> no, I need them. Okay, here we go. Continue the speed run. Stick to the left here and bunny hop your way over the rocks here. Things get a little too hairy with the stalkers throughout Deception. I try to get away without having to do it, but if I get a little nervous, I pop out Deception. Okay, so here we go. Pop out Deception. Stick to the left. And go straight to the bottom here. Straight right all the way to the bottom. And you should be pretty safe here. Go and like, like crouch down and just wait for Deception to regenerate. Or recharge, rather. Recharge, deception out, and speed run past these loaders. Once we get around the corner here, don't go left. Instead, go right. We're gonna go for the map exit. Gladness Thresher is the other way. It's like, yeah, I know. This, this is a method to my madness. Go for the map exit. Out. And back in. And this will reset everything. Everything will calm down. You need this. This will get rid of the uh, the surveyor bots flying around. You heard them flying around earlier. See, that now it's all calm. Here, stick to the right. We're going to go straight down to the water as soon as possible. Stick it, stick to the right as much as possible to not excite anyone or anything. Find the pipe. Follow the pipe. And there's a part where you can duck under the pipe right here. Duck under here, go right down to the water. Keep everything nice and quiet. Go racing across the water, and there's two ladders. So a long ladder right here, and a short one over here. I'm gonna park in front of the short ladder. There's the long one. 
and wait for this cargo loader to load up some cargo and come across. There is the cargo. Cargo loads up, everything's nice and quiet now, still quiet. When it gets about a third of the way across, we're going to start climbing the ladder. Climb the ladder. As soon as you get to the top, throw out Deception. Out goes Deception. Veer off to the right here. Find the stairs going up. Up the stairs to the top. And the cargo loader is right ready to go. Hunker down. Stay behind this little, like, obstruction here to block, like, gunfire coming from two guys who are across the way there and as soon as you can spawn deception again stay crouched to avoid any kind of fire once we get across jump down and we're gonna creep across and get the constructor to spawn that's gonna come through the door on the right only do this when deception is ready so there creep 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 as soon as the door is open, deception, run by the constructor on the left side and stick to the left side here and go behind the buildings. Stick behind the buildings. You can use that to get sanctuary back on the fast travel network. Simple, except not at all. Now, what we want to do is sucker the thresher to come up on this platform on my right that we're passing by right there. That's the ideal place and this is a great standoff place right here. And now I want to switch back to my power sniping gear. The sniper class mod and this aggression relic. Pile on the damage. And don't forget we got that beautiful Vladov fire sniper with 19 in the mag. That's that's going to do all the heavy lifting. Now you want to get just close enough to spawn the thresher and have your slag weapon ready to go. He kind of did a false start there. You go a little closer. There you go, he jumps up. Slag him. Switch to the sniper and immediately go for the eyes. Try to stack up some uh, critical ascension. Don't stick too much there, just just take a few pot shots to bring down his health. Then go behind here and we're going to sucker him up onto the platform. For two reasons, this is we'll be able to take him on away from any loaders and away from the constructor. So right here, sucker him, try to slag him. Once he slags, switch to the sniper, try to go for the eye, try to crack stack up some critical ascension, he's almost dead already. And go for it. our general custer standoff point right here. You're fairly safe here. It's not perfectly safe, but fairly safe. Make sure you sucker him into, onto the platform. Slag him. Deception. Go for a critical hit. Boom, he's down. <laughs> That's it. That's all. There we go, that's it. Like I said, if you got the firepower to take him down, why plow through everything? It just makes it harder. When The more you level up, the harder it gets. So that is it. That's not, I know it's a short video, but uh, <laughs> um, this is the beginning of another part where we work our way over to Overlook and then do the whole hellacious standoff in Overlook. That's coming up next video. Uh, I want to thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you next video. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. Alright? Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.